Last box. Oh, easy. Your bow and your bubble. Everything is just like a grand time in it. What's up guys, we're out here at the Easton Archery Center. Well, I've never been back here, but this is past the turf that you guys have seen us shoot outdoors. And we're shooting this range at the Easton Block Party this weekend. We've got B-Mac, Martin, Jordan, Joel, we're all shooting bows. True, absolutely Just getting it dialed in, we have a little bit of a crosswind. I don't know if you guys will hear that on the mic, but this is station number one back here. We're gonna shoot this course and maybe we'll go shoot the other course. We hired a new camera guy this weekend, which is me. Um, I forgot my bow in Idaho. Um, wait, what? So, to Easton Block Party, which I believe Easton makes arrows, you need a bow. They also make baseball bats. I thought maybe we'd be doing some batting practice. I did bring my baseball bat. That's like going fishing and not bringing a pole. I was in a hurry trying to get my two boys in the truck last night. Yesterday, we, were, we gave the truck away. And I forgot my bow. Guys, it's getting that time of year. We're a month away until things get real serious. Month, month and a couple weeks. Yeah, we're gonna be hunting soon, so. I need all the practice I can get, but I'm gonna watch Brian shoot and uh, make take some notes. Get that wind it, windy, guys. <laughs> See that boat moving around a little bit. Oh, man. I'm just waiting for it to like kind of really die down, maybe. Right? Gotta hold back for a long time. It's good practice. Oh. <laughs> I just want to make a point. I've never seen Brian's hair this long, and look at his blowing in the wind. It's actually, it looks good, dude. Hair is a big thing with this group. Look at, we got Martin who has perfect hair. We got Eric with the freaking world famous neck warmer, and then we got Brian that's going all Fabio. How do we do? Does the line count on the 12th? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, that's in. You get a 12 shot one. I actually was aiming left, hit left, shot two. I just put it right where I wanted it. Martin smoked him. Not bad for the wind. Brian, not 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 so good. Jo Jordan, the target's back this way. Jordan. Where are they going? They're, they're, they're looking for the other course. <laughs> That's the walk of shame for sure. I think we're about 30 yards on the blessed buck. I was told it was a blessed buck. I'm blessed with the skittle arrow. A little tight on the crease. Oh, I, someone just stacked one on me. That's Jordan. Jordan? That's Good. United, baby. Well, he's United. I saw a lefty. He's out there walking like 100 yards past the target. What are you doing out there? I don't know what he was doing out there. What an idiot. Did he miss the target or something, dude? Not range it? Like, you're only 40 yards. yards. Just Diesel the lion, 60 yards right here. Dude. You going, Martin? Right, yeah, I'll go right, right, right in the heart. At the same time. Heart shot on the old left. Brushing. You should have had your brother come out. What's he doing? Work? Got it. Did you see my kick? To, Ooh. To, that was a, we need know, to go have a conversation with Easton <laughs> at the end of the day? <laughs> How do we do on the bless oh, buck? Eric and Jordan, Chris Cross. Chris right Cross applesauce, there. guys. Good shooting there. Oh, I'm interested in Cecil the Lion. <laughs> Let's go look at uh, the Lion and see how they did. Super bummed I forgot my bow. This is great practice. Shooting in the wind. Oh, EC. Damn, is it touching? Almost, but dude, that is lethal. That wow. is like the money shot. Was that 60 yards? Lower third at 60. In the wind? In the wind. It's bad. bad. You hold your bow and your bubbles. Everything's just like praying, like timing it. That's a good is that shot. Martin's shot? Yeah, that's a good shot. I take that shot. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Poor Brian's up there on the on the hill. All right, so first two shots haven't been awesome by any means. The plus side though, no lost arrows. This is the Axis 5mm. One of the things I like about the Axis is it's pretty durable. <laughs> what are we shooting, Martin? I'm gonna go a little yes, Kit Fox and then I'm actually the dough. Alright, so we're going 37. Hold on. Oh, Smoked him. This is the first shot I'm going to take with my new arrows. Here's so what's the, the difference on them? Right Straight. White tail. Blazer veins. This How many year, you? strong helical. With Super custom, strong helical. Yeah, the custom hush veins and wraps. So I haven't shot these at the range. I brought two and two just to try to compare. It's going to be hard to say with the wind. Strong. I figured 20 yards is a good start. That wind is so bad right now. What are you go at? 
Yeah, it's like you're told me. You want like, me to measure for you? Here, sir. Follow up, I hit that leg. Whole sand. Double on. Let her eat. Yeah. Let her eat. Let her rip tater chip. Let her rip tater chip. So, what are your guys' thoughts on a helical? We were just talking, would a, would a strong helical help in the wind or, or hurt in the wind? What do you guys shoot? Do you shoot a straight or do you shoot helical? Let us know. So I'm shooting a four vane setup. Not much helical on there as you can see. With uh, the Easton Axis 5mm arrow. It's a 340 spine on this one. The 125 grain tip. So I've had enough time to sight in my 20 pin. I'm taking a 74 yard shot on a mule deer. Um, luckily it's foam. I would not ever, ever recommend this. This is a real animal. So I'm thinking it's going to be... Wait, let me feel this real quick. Oh my god. Yep. Right. Martin, you going for it? Right in the boiler. <laughs> Dude, you smoked it. <laughs> For all of you guys that waste your time at the range, just get a 20 pin. It's all you need. Joel Whitetail Fit's gonna shoot the deer 73, you say? Nice, man. Yeah, that was up and down was perfect. That looked all right. I'm zoomed in really close on your head right now, but the shot was good. Yeah. Well proportioned. Okay, EC's going after the mule deer 73. Yep. 73 yards. Just dialing, dialing, dialing. Well, I'd say they did a really good job surrounding the vitals. Eric was riding. Eric was close. I could have blown through. Yeah. I just away. want to know why I was that? holding too far left. Why aren't your guys' left arrows left? going through the targets like mine? <laughs> Compensate. <laughs> you see, going for a ram. Wild boar. Wild boar first. How far? Uh, I don't know, but I'm just gonna guess. I like it. I like it. It's like oh, it's like the yeah, wait for the whistle. Premature. <laughs> it's like the price is right. The ram. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and yeah. That's why you always and use a rangefinder. Hold on, hold on. When you, when you guess it. Oh, you didn't dial. You have to move your dial back yeah, to yeah, zero yeah. when yeah. you take those shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this God. video Did is you brought to you by the letter D for dial. I had <laughs> make sure to dial your sight. Man, I'm wrong. This is going to be a real educational <laughs> piece for all of you <laughs> watching of what not to do <laughs> when shooting your bow. I just heard that thing whizzing. <laughs> Let's redo. He's Martin, don't, don't. Cut that out when you edit this video, okay? Oh, just like that. Okay, let's see it. We're gonna match this. We're gonna match Eric's shot. You checked your sight, dialed. What? We're gonna dial in. Anybody see my arrow back for him again? Did you get it? I will. Nice. Flipping all. Both flipping all. Lefties united. Two for three ain't bad, guys. My bottom pin is my 50. No, I'm gonna set in, so I'm zeroed out. The ram would be his heart. Right through that shoulder, that arrow, he would have fell down. <laughs> Do you bow flip on every shot or just shots you like? Every shot that is, I honestly don't know, it just it happens. Habit. Yeah, so you know habit. like Tiger Woods, when he hits a good shot, he doesn't watch it, he just keeps walking? He just keeps walking. <laughs> yeah. And then he does one of these. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> I want to see that from, from you, you more, yeah. Okay, so I've not started off well. And I'm trying to think, what the heck happened? Because I've been shooting really good at my house. Then I remembered. We changed out the mods. So if we will send standard 85% let off, you have to make a request to get 80%. So for anybody hunting out west, check the regulations because there are states that do not allow 85% let off. You need to have 80%. Being a dummy, not thinking about that. So I've been shooting high. Went over to the practice range and consistently it was probably like eight inches high. So I'm gonna go get the Allen wrench make my adjustments but if you got a new bow from Hoyt double check that if you're gonna come hunt west make sure you're legal so sad now Eric's up on the, uh, the old walk of shame knob trying to find his arrow because he didn't adjust his sight for the 25 yard pig shot walk of shame right there look at them all that's what happens when you forget your bow you can just talk a lot of crap about everyone that misses because 
oh, I'm not missing. You know, I'm not hitting, but I'm not missing. Well, that right? kind of puts you at 100%, right? Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Sick. It's all about the averages. Okay, Joel, what's going on? What are you shooting? We got an African setup going on right now. We got a Jaguar. And over the back of the Jaguar is the Warthog at 50 yards. To so you're going to hop the Jag? We're basically going to scare the Jaguar. Is that an anteater out there too? Yeah, dude, they got all sorts of good That's pretty rad. Right. Okay, so hop the Jaguar, smoke the Warthog. I like it. Warthog. Oh, got him. Laced him. Got him. Oh. Oh. I thought well you were. Done. I thought you were going to shoot through the Jaguar and hit the Warthog. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to... You, you're yeah, shooting an 80-pound bow. You could probably do that. Look how sad this is, just Brian on the practice course by himself. Maybe one day you'll make it to the big boy club and can come shoot over here. <laughs> okay, so Joel thinks by going to the knees, the wind will be less effective on him. Let's see, there is a berm right there, so it could be true. I got tall guys behind me, so. Got him. Did you see that shot? Did you see it, Art? I saw it. Did you get things worked out? Yeah, I did. I had to move up my side housing quite a bit. But checked it at 30, checked it at 40. In theory, it should be on here. 95 yard elk. I just waited for the first like die down and win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a 95. That about maxes out my sight window. Yeah, These close. lower profile veins actually gives me more distance on my slider side. Okay, here we go. Come on, easy, easy. I'm not dialed tonight. Yes, oh, dude! Boomed, dude. <laughs> yes! Marvel nice. forever, dude! Yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, like the center? Yeah. <laughs> what a Did shot. you hold for wind at all? That was Honestly, awesome. Honestly, it felt good. The wind died and maybe if anything, a little left. Just trying not to hug the shoulder so bad because everyone was hitting shoulder. You are right in the crease. Right just, in the crease? Yeah, like just look, yeah. Let's go like, check it out. So we were just all talking. Uh, it's, we've got about a 10 mile an hour uh, crosswind. Do you hold for the wind when you're shooting an arrow? I've heard guys say you don't. I've heard you guys say that it will the wind will affect the archer more than it will affect the arrow and you just want to actually hold where you would want to hit it. So that's kind of what everyone did. But I'm starting to think they all hit a little bit forward. And that would be right because the wind's coming left to right. I don't know. What's your guys' thoughts? Thank you. What's your thought, Joel? The heavier the arrow, the less you gotta hold for the wind. Yeah. Like I'm shooting a 420 grain hex, and I was holding basically center body and I got front shoulder. We'll see where everyone hit. 95 yards on the hill. Somebody smoked him. Was that Martin? Dang, catch it 12 Mr. Range. Chag just 12 him. Chag life. Martin's arrows are just unseeable until you're like five feet away. I know, huh? Brian shot two, one a little high, one a little left. Eric, a little, little high. high. Casey necked him. What did I tell you, dude? Martin what smoked him. Well, guys, we're back home now. Had a great time at the Easton Archery Center. For those of you who are around Salt Lake, just so you know, that place is open to the public. You can become a member, shoot indoors, shoot outdoors, all that fun stuff. But just want to say thanks to the, the people at Easton. Great event, super fun going to the block party. I'm sure they'll do it again. So if you guys couldn't make it this year, you ought to check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow, probably on another video. What? What do you know? What do you know? Straight from Sever. Addressed to myself. How awesome. Got more broadheads.